Shalom, shalom, shalom. All praises to Yahweh Baha Shom, Mashiach, Yahushai, Kwam Yasha Allah. Hallelujah. This is Elder Barak from the Mashiach Yasha Allah. And I just want to bring out a few points concerning how we're supposed to conduct ourselves uh, when we confront one another as brothers and sisters, as fellow Hebrew Israelites, you know, as, as you know, 12 tribes scattered abroad as brothers and sisters where we meet one another. And yeah, we have different camps, okay, different Israelite schools. But when we come across one another, when we confront one another, how do we conduct ourselves? And that's that's the issue. Uh, but before I, we just go over that, and we're not going to be long, I just want to say uh, all praise to Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh for the brothers and uh, sisters and the Israelite schools and camps who are celebrating the Passover tonight. This is uh, March 26th, and then uh, tomorrow, some Israelite camps are celebrating their Passover, the 27th. And from what I understand, some are celebrating the Passover, uh, March 28th. So there's different different Passover dates, which we understand that's that's the way it is now, right? Uh, so you can understand, though, the position of the Mashra Allah, uh, the Passover date, the official date is April 27th, okay, Kun? Um, you know... Yeah, there is different dates, and the Marshal Rosh Allah never said that uh, you have to go by what the official date for the High Holy Days of the Marshal Rosh Allah. We never, we never inhibited different Israelite schools and camps that are under the Marshal Rosh Allah uh, to just deal with the date that the official date of the Marshal Rosh Allah. We never did that. We allowed the different schools and camps to celebrate. Uh, the date that they come up with for the High Holy Days, we allow it to happen until we come more together in agreement. Uh, we, you know, allow that to happen. But there has to be uh, a bond of peace, okay, in our disagreement of different understandings and, and, and the doctrine, the doctrine of the High Holy Days and uh, the Law, Statute, of Commandments, and ultimately the Torah itself. Okay, so we know there's different uh, disagreements, but nonetheless, if we can come together in the bond of peace. This is what Yahweh Shai is looking for us to do because we know we're not going to know everything. Okay, we see through a glass darkly, Yahweh Shai said, but until Yahweh Shai comes, okay, he's going to give us all things. Okay, so for right now, but still, that still doesn't prevent us from trying and from coming together and uh, seeking it out. So what is the truth on the Passover? What is the truth on uh, whether it's the first light or the uh, dark moon? Okay, what is the truth on whether it's the lunar Sabbath or the seven-day Sabbath? Understand? But we have to come together and seek it out. And Yahweh Shai is looking for us to do that. Okay? Since we broke the commandments, and served idol gods and so forth. So now the Most High took the truth and the light of knowledge away from us. Now it's our duty to seek it. That's why it says, seek and ye shall find. Ask and it shall be given. And we knock and it shall be opened unto us. So this is what we're supposed to be doing now. But we could, we could, we, there's more power in it when we come together and do it. So, um, so you can understand. So I just want to say shalom, shalom to all the different Israelite camps celebrating the Passover. But the official date of the uh, Masharah Yashallah is April 27th. And like the scripture says, at least uh, we're rehearsing the righteous acts. Okay? Because in true essence, let's get some understanding. In true essence, the, the Passover, we're doing the Passover in a strange land, right? It's supposed to be done in Mount Zion. It's supposed to be done in Jerusalem. If you want to get technical about it, it's supposed to be done in Jerusalem, and we know that, okay? What the law says, right? Done, being done anywhere else, okay, you're doing the Passover, you're not doing it correctly. Okay, come, so we, we know that. So, but still, we can come together in a bond of peace and try to figure it out. And that's that's what the Masharash Allah is about. But still, now, the problem that we have now is that... Uh, you know, these different camps, you know, as a camp, as an Israelite camp, when we come, to, when you come together and you go to a particular uh, city 
or, or and in that city you go to a particular street corner to start to teach, okay, another camp shouldn't come up to that camp and uh, begin to argue. Okay, we we gotta we gotta do better than that. And see, this is why it's the position of the martial arts of Allah uh, to go out and meet these other schools and camps and network and communicate. Because there's yet but so many different ancient white schools and camps throughout America, throughout, uh, you know, the Caribbean, South America, you know, understand? And there's just so many. So it's our position, Marshall Rasha Island, to say, look, let's go and meet these camps and meet these brothers. Understand? And so, but now, what we see, you know, IUIC arguing with ISUPK on a corner, over over a speaking spot. <laughs> and you're talking about in America, we arguing about that. When America is about to be blown to hell and back. America's finished. Why are we arguing over a corner in America? Okay, so forget about it. So, but that's not how we conduct ourselves. That's not what Yahweh Shai wants from us. Okay, to conduct ourselves. So the martial arts, that's why we set out to meet these different schools and camps. And that's why when we first started the Marsha Rasha Allah, we did send out a letter to everybody, all the schools and camps, to the best of our ability, to everybody. Even IUIC, even ISUPK. Though they might deny it, but we did send a letter to all these different camps. Okay, but some agreed, some disagreed, some agreed that they might come to some of the summits and conferences, but and then some said they're not going to do it. Okay, fine. But now, so what does that mean? Now we just we're we're, we're a nation in exile, and when we see each other in the streets, what are we going to do? Argue, curse one another out, use profanity, f your leader, f your leader. So that's madness, and this is why Yahweh Shai is mad with us. Yahweh Shai is upset at us for the way we conduct ourselves. And we're going to say we know the truth. How do you know the truth? And that's how you deal with one another. <clears throat> so you might know the truth, but you don't know how to be an example of the truth. And that wasn't the right example. Brother, brothers arguing with one another concerning a corner in America. Okay? So it has to be on a better level. This is why Yahweh Shai said in Ephesians 4 and 3, endeavor to keep the unity of the spirit. We're supposed to be endeavoring. Okay, we're supposed to strive. Even though there are some differences in each camp and so forth, we're supposed to strive for it. And we don't strive enough. Because you got these different camps out here that <clears throat> want to compete. What are we competing for? We're all working for the same penny, the scriptures say. So what the hell are we competing for? Yahweh Shai going to reward every man, every camp according to their works. So what are you competing for? Okay? And it's not of works, you got to remember. It's of faith. It's of grace. And Yahweh Shai is giving out the rewards. So you cursing one another, that didn't, that didn't look good. And then you put the video on YouTube for a whole world to see. This is the Israelites, the ones who claim to be the real Hebrew Israelites. And look how we conduct ourselves. So we're not conducting ourselves in the right spirit. Hebrews 4 and 3, endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. See, this is what, how Mashiach wants to do. This is why the Mashiach Allah said from the beginning, we're going to go out and meet these different camps, Israelite schools and so forth in different cities across America to network and communicate and to get something from what the, the spiritual gift the Most High gave from, to that camp and the spiritual gift that we can bring each other to bring it more in the cohesive unit in nationality as a nation. That's what we're supposed to do. Ain't no one camp have it all. So if a camp is saying that, you're foolish. Ain't no one man got it all. So if you're saying that, it's full of pride and you're foolish. You don't have it all. Okay? So, but in Yahweh Shai, we can, as a nation, we can have it all. And this is what we've got to strive to do. 
but we're on the corner arguing over a place in America. You know, America is a cesspool. Who cares? You know, who cares about that? Okay, that's why Ephesians 4 and 12, again, for the perfecting of the saints, see, when we become perfected, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body in Yahweh's shot. So if you're saying you're a Israelite camp in Yahweh's shot, then you got to be an example. And Yeh that wasn't Yahweh's shot. For, for two Israelite camps, as big as these Israelite camps are, these two particular camps, and yeah, I'm going to say it, IUIC, ISUPK, and you're sitting in a corner arguing with one another. We don't, we can't do that. That's against Hamashiach Yahweh Shah. So we should be more professional than that. Now you're going to curse one another out, curse out each other's leaders, and just, the leaders of the camp. That didn't look professional. It looked foolish. And then you're going to say, well, I'm teaching the Most High's word. After I curse you out, I'm open the Bible and, and teach the Most High. That didn't look good. That was foolish. You know what I'm saying? That was dumb. So we got to come on a different level. And then it says on the 13th verse, Ephesians 4, 13, till we all come in the unity of faith, see, and of the knowledge of the Son of the Most High unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of, of Yahweh Shai. This is what we're supposed to be doing. Seeking to try to come together and try to find some uh, uh, perfection in Yahweh Shai. But in the bond of peace, according to the gospel. Another thing, the gospel is the New Testament and the Old Testament. Okay, it's not just one, uh, the, the, the New Testament, that's it. It's Yahweh Shah is talking about the Torah and the New Testament together, bring it together. That's the gospel. So we've got to understand that. So, but yeah, I know some brothers may say, well, how can two come together except they agree? I know we don't agree on everything. But we're supposed to strive. That's why the scripture says endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit. We're supposed to endeavor to try to do it. Okay? Not sit there and accept disunity and discord. You don't accept it. Okay? You're supposed to try to find a way to come together. Because why, why does the scripture say assemble yourselves together? Why does the scripture say Come together, O nation not desired, before the decree bring forth. Why does scripture in Zephaniah 2, and why does scripture say that? If, if we're supposed to be uh, disagree and two can't come together, so they agree, so why does it say that? Why does it say come together? Because we're supposed to strive. So unity is the key. And this is what the Masharaj Yasha'Allah is all about, trying to bring uh, the unity of brethren together. Even though, yeah, there's disagreements in the martial arts Allah too. But still, we strive to bring it together. And that's why we have different camps in the martial arts Allah. Got different dates for the Passover. Yeah, that's true. There's some brothers in the martial arts Allah that believe in the lunar Sabbath. Some brothers that believe in the seven-day Sabbath. But at least there's a bond of peace there. At least we can come together and maybe uh, talk about it, discuss it. Then yeah, that's what Yahweh Shai wants. Then Yahweh Shai is going to bring us the truth on what it is. Okay? <clears throat> it says, unity, definition of unity. What is it? Quality or state of not being multiple. Say so we got to become more one as a nation. That's why martial arts are as a nation. That's why bringing the 12 tribes together as one. That's why we said uh, a nation, government. Understand? Government of Israel. We got to bring it as more as one. Okay, and then it says uh, a condition of harmony. See, there was no harmony there. ISUPK arguing against IUIC over a street corner. Well, there's, there's millions of street corners in America that you could teach at. Okay, but this is the problem. And that didn't look good. Going out to, to the whole world, we arguing over the street corner, cursing one another out. Being together or at one with someone or something. See, being together. The something is what? We're Hebrew Israelites. That's the something. We're supposed to be together as, as one or strive to that purpose. Being undivided or unbroken. See, but now we're broken. 
That's why the scripture says, the most I said in Yahushua, he going to bring the tabernacles of David together. The he going to close up the breaches thereof because we're, we're broken now. So he going to bring the breaches back together. The division, he going to bring us back together. Being undivided or unbroken, completeness or totality. Understand? So where we're divided up, Yahushua is going to bring us together. But for us to sit there and say, okay, let's wait for Yahushua to do it, then that means, then what are you doing? You're not laboring in the spirit to try to bring it together. The kingdom of heaven is without observation. It's within you, and you're supposed to strive together to bring it, to bring the kingdom of heaven within you. It's supposed to be with action. Understand? Again, unity, the quality of being united into one. See, that's, the, uh, that's united. That's, being, that's unity. Unite into one. Unity denotes combining of all the parts, elements, and individuals into an effective whole. And the scriptures teach us that. That's what Ephesians 4.16 is telling us. Ephesians 4.16 is telling us all the effectual parts combined together. So where we got different camps all over America, we should be coming more together as one. That's what the martial art of Allah is all about as a nation. And not only in America now, also abroad too. Because the martial art of is going to extend itself abroad and ultimately into Mount Zion. This is where we're headed. Because America's finished. We headed for the tribulation period and we arguing over the damn corner in America. Get out of here. We're over a, a street corner in America. We're arguing and America's finished. Okay, we headed for Jacob's trouble, tri tribulation period, and America's finished. Okay, so come on, man. We got to do better than that. Ephesians 4, 16, from whom the whole body fitly joined together, compacted by that which every joint supplieth according to the effectual working in the measure of every part. See, every part, the different Israelite schools and camps throughout America consist of a part. And you bring each one of those parts together into the body. The body is Israel, the nation of Israel. That's the body. In Yahweh Understand? Again, unity denotes a combining of all the parts, elements, and individuals into an effective whole. This is what we're supposed to be doing. And we're not doing that. We're over, uh, arguing over a damn corner. That's embarrassing. That's a shame for Hebrew Israelites to do that. And we're supposed to be teachers and messengers and prophets of the Most High. 1 Corinthians 1 and 10 says this. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Hamashiach Yahushai, that ye all speak the same thing. So this is why we're supposed to come together. We're supposed to endeavor, strive to try to speak the same thing. That's all we're supposed to try. And this is why we have the martial arts the summits, okay, and unity camps to try to speak the same thing. Well, you know, it's not going to be that easy because there's a lot of uh, different understandings in the scriptures, but we're supposed to strive to that. And the more we strive, the more Yahweh Shai, we do it together. The more Yahweh Shai said, with two or three are gathered in his name, he's going to bring us the truth. And we're going to get it. Okay, it says, uh, and that ye all speak the same thing, and that there be no divisions, see? No divisions among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. How about that? Okay? Same mind and same judgment. But we on a corner arguing against one another, cursing each other's leaders out and so forth. Now, how did that go over well when you put that video out there amongst the nations? Didn't go over well. Okay? Didn't go over well. But Yahweh Shai has showed us we got to come more on a higher level. That's why he says, perform, perform it. <laughs> perform the doing of it. You say, well, how are we going to do that? when we have different doctrines in the scriptures. Well, <clears throat> we got to begin somewhere. And the scripture says perform it, right? Uh, 2 Corinthians 8 and 11, right? Now, therefore, perform the doing of it. 
that as there was a, a, was a readiness to will God be a readiness, you got to have a ready, willing mind to start it, to endeavor for that. Okay? Because a lot of brothers who think they know it all and know all the scripture, know everything, and the particular camp that think they know it all, they're going to find out they don't. So your mind got to be ready. You got to be humble because you don't. And no one camp has it all. No one person got it all. Okay? So now, therefore, perform the doing of it, that as there was a readiness to will, so there may be a performance also out of that which ye have. It's supposed to be a performance. But the performance is supposed to be in the gospel. The, the commandments Yahweh Shai gives out of the gospel. And again, the gospel is the law, statute, commandments, the Old Testament, and the Old Testament, the Torah, and also the New Testament. The brother saying the gospel is just what Yahweh Shai said. Yeah, but Yahweh Shai told us that what that not one jot, not one tittle of the commandments are going to be done away with. He came to fulfill the commandments, what the prophet spoke of. So it's the Old Testament, it's the Torah and the commandments Yahweh Shai gives in the gospel. And what are those commandments in the gospel? That's why we got the uh, code of ethics. And when you read about the, in the code of ethics, what do we got? All commandments that Yahweh Shai gave us. How to love one another. Okay, he commanded us to love one another. Be courteous to one another. Hospitality to one another. Communicate to one another. Bear one's burdens to one another. All that stuff. Not go on a corner and street corner of America and curse one another out. That don't make no sense. So that's not what the martial arts of Allah is about. And we shouldn't be that way also. Given that there are many different camps and schools, Israelite schools in America, and so forth. So I just want to bring that point out. And that's the position of the Marsh Rosh Allah that we come together on that level. And that's why we have the summits. And most I will, the next summit is going to be in July in Atlanta. And we'll, of course, we'll put out the, 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 the date, more than likely uh, July 17th. But we'll put the date and everything out there. So this is what the Mosai has shown us. So we got to conduct ourselves on a higher, higher level. Okay? So I just want to say, from the Masha Rasha Allah, Zelda Barak, all praise to Yahweh Baha Sham, HaMashiach Yahweh Shai, and Kwam Yasha Allah, Hallelujah, and all the brothers and sisters in the bond of peace. Shalom.